Hello, my name is Kathleen Rooney, and on April 2nd, I had the opportunity to watch a very, um, it was very cool, actually, physics extra credit lecture, and it was by Dr. John Pelly from the University of California, Riverside, and he talked about the illustrated special relativity through its paradoxes, which is basically like special relativity, which Einstein really studied, and it, it, it was very interesting. I didn't think it would be, but it, like, twisted my mind in crazy ways and made me think about like how time really affects your perception of things so um and like special relativity affects how we interpret time and that was kind of cool so I was completely amazed by things that he said he gave us three paradoxes in his lecture the first one was the train paradox um, which I will actually explain later and basically it was like a train pulls into a station is the front of the car or the back of the car younger and so I would think oh the back of the car is younger but it's actually the false it's counterintuitive but the front of the train is younger then he gave us a twin paradox where there are two newborns and from the very first like right as they're born one is stationary for 50 years and the other one is moving at 0.8 times the speed of light for 50 years and the stationary one at the end of those 50 years is 50 years old, but the one that's moving um, at the end of the 50 years is only 30 years old. And that was due to like special relativity. And then the final one that we were given was the bug rivet paradox. And there were kind of two, it was like a two in one, but um, a bug is placed between two steel plates and the rivet in one situation is moving and then in the other situation the steel plates are moving and so the first situation the rivet gets smaller and the bug isn't squished but then in the second situation um, the walls are moving in and the bug gets squished and that just depends on what your reference frame is and so it really just makes me think about like physics like I don't know, like I'm taking this as a class, but it's not that important, I think. But this is like, whoa, this bug died. It could have lived. Depends on your reference frame. So it was kind of interesting. Um, so just in the interest of time, since there were three paradoxes, I d don't really want to explain all three. But the one that I thought was the coolest was the first one, the train paradox. And so I'm going to talk about the physics behind it. So, you know, Albert Einstein with his blessed beautiful mind he created or he thought of special relativity and basically there's two really important things that you have to remember about it and the first one is that the laws of physics are valid for all of the reference frames so even if you're moving even if you're stationary wherever you are um, the laws of physics are the same and then the second one is the speed of light is the same for all observers um, regardless of how fast they're going so like if I was running with a flashlight, um, let's say I'm running like five miles per hour, um, the flashlight, the light that's emitted is not going five miles per hour more than three times eight meters per second, which is the speed of light. So that's really important to remember. That's like the universal speed limit is 3.8 meters per second. Um, and so kind of like the proof or the thought process to explain the um, uh, the train paradox is like the properties of inertial frames and so there's five important facts to keep in mind and the first one is that all frames are identical when at rest which is like um, their velocities are zero so they're just all equal and then the second is that observers within any frame are fixed um, and then the third one is communication between frames can only occur through a perpendicular line of sight. So if I wanted, like if I was on the platform and I wanted to see the person on the train, I would have to be like staring straight at them. So just for like the physics to work out. Um, the fourth is that all pairs of frames are synchronized at zero. So, um, uh, later on, he went to talk about how time, like in the twin paradox, how time, you know, differs depending on your speed. And so it, this was basically kind of relating to that. So like at zero, it's all synchronized. And like depending on your velocity, um, 
it, it's not synchronized, but at zero it is. And then the fifth is relative speeds between frames are negative symmetric, which is like if I'm on the train and I'm moving with the train and I see the person on the on the platform, it looks like they're going in the negative direction. And then if the person on the platform sees me, it looks like I'm going in the positive direction. And so, um, so it's like the same distance and the same velocity, but just equal and opposite. That's what I meant, equal and opposite. Um, and so like these properties and also special relativity are how um, they go through to prove that, you know, because of special relativity, the front of the train is younger than the back of the train um, in the train paradox. So I hope you learned a lot. There were two more paradoxes given and those were interesting too if you wanted to look them up. I just, um, I know people don't like to watch like 15 minute videos because this one's already six minutes and so I don't want to have, you know, an 18 minute video explaining all three. So. I'll just leave it at one and the other two are interesting too but I thought this was because this one was kind of like the basis and I also thought this was the most interesting but like this is the basis and you would use this information to explain the the other two and so I thought it would be good to to go over this one so I hope this is interesting and makes you I don't know more interested in brain teasers because I definitely kind of felt like my mind was blown when I was in that lecture and I didn't think I would. I thought I was just getting extra credit, but I really enjoyed myself. So I hope this inspires you to just explore physics and love it and live it. Okay. Thank you for watching. Bye.